It's umsum time. How do huh? batteries work? That is a secret. I can't tell anyone. Ooh, umsum. <laughs> to buy umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> a battery works by converting chemical energy into electricity. A battery consists of one or more electrochemical cells. An electrochemical cell consists of two electrodes separated by an electrolyte. When the battery's two electrodes are connected into a circuit, the negatively charged electrons start flowing through the external wire, while the positively charged ions start flowing through the electrolyte. This balancing of charge is important to keep the reaction running. Now, this flow of electrons through the external wire is basically electricity. It allows us to power our devices. This is how batteries work. Hmm. Also, there exists a semi-permeable barrier in the electrolyte so that huh? all the ions do not immediately coat the electrode and thus clog the system. Hmm. <laughs> what if batteries disappear? Huh? Oh no. Now how will I charge myself? <laughs> oh, I'm um, some. Firstly, if batteries huh? disappeared, electric cars will stop working. Entire yeah. car industry will be worried about its future. Hmm. Secondly, if batteries huh? disappeared, smartphones will suddenly stop working. Smartphone addicts will be severely disappointed. <laughs> Thirdly, if batteries disappeared, torches will no longer work. People may have to go back huh? to using the good old <laughs> candles. Hmm. Fourthly, if batteries huh? disappeared, laptops will no longer be portable. People may not be able to travel and work at the same time. Hmm. Fifthly, if batteries disappeared, toys which work on batteries will suddenly stop working. Parents may have to figure out different innovative ways of keeping their children entertained. Hmm. Lastly, if batteries disappeared, drones will suddenly start falling from the sky. Surveillance huh? may take a back seat. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Topic, nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used uh -huh. to generate electricity? Mm. You really want to know the answer mm. to this, right? <laughs> but wait, before answering the question, hmm. let us understand what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two huh? lighter nuclei combine to no. form a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is hmm? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Hmm? Where does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. You are hmm? absolutely hmm? wrong. Huh? Nuclear uh -huh. fusion takes place oh! in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen huh? atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. Oh. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. Nah. It does not reach us through power lines. Wait, I will tell you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, but we're already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. So huh? why do we require mm. nuclear fusion? For this, oh. you need to first understand <laughs> the difference huh? between nuclear fusion oh. and nuclear fission. <laughs> As we already know, nuclear fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a large amount of energy. The exact opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei, releasing a large amount of energy. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. 
The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. Oh. The major disadvantage huh? is that uranium is a radioactive element. Oh. When uranium undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive huh? waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to hmm. generate electricity. Huh? What source oh. would that be? Hmm? Would it be nuclear fusion? <laughs> Bingo! Hooray! You are right! Huh? Then huh? why are we not harnessing hmm? the energy of nuclear fusion to produce hmm. electricity? This huh? is because for nuclear fusion, oh. two conditions are required. Oh. They huh? are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? On mm? Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is how will we control them? Oh. As there mm? are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, mm? we have not yet mm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of mm. electricity. Hmm? <laughs> Topic. Huh? Sound. Why do we hear echoes? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! Hey, hold on. Huh? Don't go into that room. Hmm? You don't want to listen to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then go ahead. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. See? I huh? warned you. Will you listen to me now? Hmm. Don't hmm? worry. The sound oh. you heard was just an huh? echo of your voice. Let me explain <laughs> what an echo is. When we speak or laugh in a big empty hall, we hear our <laughs> own sound repeatedly. <laughs> this is because our sound waves get reflected from the walls of the hall back to us. Oh. The reflected sound huh? that we hear is called an echo. Hence, an echo is defined as the repetition of sound caused by the reflection of sound waves from a hard surface back oh. to the listener. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Are you trying to hear an echo? It is not that easy. Huh? There are two ideal conditions for an echo to be heard. When we speak or laugh, we hear our original sound at that moment. <laughs> the sensation of this original sound remains in our brain till 0.1 seconds. Uh -huh. This time is called the oh. persistence of hearing. <laughs> when we utter sounds, some of our sound waves get reflected while some get absorbed. If the reflected oh. sound waves reach our ears before the completion of 0.1 uh -huh. seconds, then our huh? brain does not perceive the original and reflected sounds as separate sounds they are huh? interpreted oh. as one sound. Therefore, in order to hear two distinct sounds or an echo, the time gap between the original sound and the reflected sound or echo should be at least 0.1 seconds. This is huh? the first condition for an echo to be heard. Oh. Do you know huh? when the time gap will be more than 0.1 seconds? Mm. This gets us to the huh? second condition huh? for an echo. The minimum distance between the speaker hmm? and the reflecting uh -huh. surface should be at least 17.2 meters. Ah! Hmm. <gasps> when the distance is 17.2 meters <laughs> and we start speaking, assume that the original sound reaches our ears at this time oh. and the reflected uh -huh. sound reaches our ears at this huh? time, then the time interval uh -huh. between the reflected sound and the original huh? sound will be equal to 0.1 seconds. Oh. As a result, we will be able to hear an <laughs> echo. Huh? All right, now let us try and hear an <laughs> echo in this room. It is even bigger than the previous room. <laughs> now, mm. why can't we hear an uh -huh. echo? This is because there are many soft furnishings like sofas, carpets, curtains, etc. Oh. in this room. Ah! Huh? They absorb most of the sound waves. Huh? As the sound waves oh. do not get reflected, we are not able to hear an echo in this room. 
Hence, one more thing to consider huh? if we want to hear an echo is that there should be minimal use of <laughs> such sound absorbing <laughs> materials. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Topic Electric charge. Huh? Hmm? How does a plastic hmm? comb attract paper? Uh -huh. What? Hmm? You don't believe me? Hmm. Okay, let us try. <laughs> Take a plastic comb and bring it close to some pieces of paper. <laughs> hey, wait, don't laugh. We need to do something first. Rub the comb on your dry hair and then bring the comb close to the pieces of paper. See, I was correct. The pieces of paper got attracted to the plastic comb. Do you think it is magic? No, the reason behind this is electric charge. Electric charge is the quantity of electricity held in an object. There are two types of electric charges, positive and negative. However, there are some objects where the positive and negative charges are equal to one another. In such cases, we say that the object is electrically neutral. So, was the plastic comb initially electrically neutral or electrically charged? Initially, the plastic comb was electrically neutral. That means it had an equal number of positive and negative charges. Hence, it did not have the ability to exert a force and attract the pieces of paper. So, after rubbing the plastic comb on our dry hair, why was it able to attract the pieces of paper? I will tell you why. When we rubbed the plastic comb on our dry hair, it gained an electric charge. Once it got electrically charged, it got the ability to exert a force on the pieces of paper and attract them. This charge is oh. called a static electricity. Mm. However, do you think, like a plastic comb, a metallic comb would also attract the pieces of paper? <laughs> no, nope, you are wrong. A metallic oh. comb will not attract huh? the pieces of paper like the plastic comb. Wondering mm. why is that so? Oh. Oh. It is because plastic is not a good conductor huh? of electricity. It does not allow the electric charges to flow through it onto the earth. As a result, the charges build in the plastic comb, making it electrically charged and enabling it to attract the pieces of paper. However, metal is a good conductor of electricity. It does not let the charges build in it. It allows the electric charges to flow through it onto the earth. Thus, not allowing the metallic comb to get electrically charged. As a result, the metallic comb does not attract the pieces of paper. Oh. <laughs>